gentlemen, Sandra Bernhardt. I wasn't. I was doing the showbiz. <laughs> you know, I have a feeling that tonight may be one of those great show business nights that we've yet to see in many, many years. And you know just what I mean. So don't fake it with me. Come on, kids. Get it up. Give it up. It's show business. It's at its very finest tonight. in this business. I've spent a lot of nights with a lot of great people in this business, from the great comics, from the Shecky Greens, <laughs> to the Burls, to the Lewises. I've spent many nights with the great comics, and then I've just swung all the way over and hung out with the Rock and Rollers, oh. Axel. <laughs> I was his neighbor for a while. Don't forget that. We kicked in a lot of doors in a lot of hotels, okay? <laughs> Stevie Nicks and I have cried and cried and cried. <laughs> but this could be one of those show business nights that you will never forget. And I don't know why yet, and I'm scared. <laughs> but I feel the tension mounting, building. Somebody's mounting somebody somewhere. <laughs> what? What is that? You're in the middle of my brilliance? You're going to give me some tacky t-shirt that I have too many of already? What is it? Oh, we'll decide that when we see it, honey. I love you. Bold. This is just for my viewing enjoyment? What? That is. What? What is it, honey? What are you, like a one-man review? What is this? Just do me. <laughs> Honey, not with that blouse. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm tripping. This reminds me of the 60s. What? People are screaming out. They're freaking out. <laughs> I'm holding this Fricasha t-shirt. Like, I'm really going to take this home. It's at least 100% cotton. And I wore it first. <laughs> God knows what you did with a kaleidoscope. I'm not even... <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's, <laughs> it's getting funky and real. <laughs> or real funky, whatever. Oh, uh, no, honestly, this is a big show tonight. We have, I mean, actually, the first, not the first guy coming out is an old friend of mine. He kind of discovered me, Paul Mooney, at um, a place in Beverly Hills called the Ye Little Club, which doesn't exist anymore. But you know Paul Mooney. Yeah. yeah. Of course you do. The chic people all know Paul Mooney. <laughs> Paul, Mo pa Paul Mooney des described me as a cigarette come to life when he first saw me. <laughs> and I don't think much has changed. But we're going to be back with Paul Mooney and Mike Sweeney right after a commercial. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Right, Rhonda? <laughs> Hi. You know, you can be arrested for burning that shirt, so just don't. <laughs> an American flag shirt. Did they get over that little insane phase, the flag burning thing? Are they onto something new now to like take our minds off the reality like none of us have any money? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that really bummed you out. Free beers! Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, honey, you've had about a hundred glasses back <laughs> He's out of his mind. He just stepped in from the 60s and never... Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's what happens when they give away free beer. Everybody drops in. It's, it's always dangerous.
this one. The tickets are free, and it includes a glass of beer. Thank you. Jesus loves you, I know. He's, he's really helped all of us a lot. Um, but, be <laughs> but besides that, I want to bring out our first guest, because he's an old friend of mine, and I love him, and he's a major talent, and he kicks butt. Paul Mooney. Give it up. gentlemen, Sandra Bernhardt. show tonight. Dateline is following me around to do a big 13-minute segment down to, the, down to the absolute second. Look at this guy. He's <laughs> Stone Phillips is here. We drove over from my house from the valley, had a long chat, a real in, on team intimate moment. Me and Stone got very funky and re real and revealed our childhoods to each other. Some information was unwarranted. Stone was riveted to me, smashed into a couple of semis. I can't... I love that they always send the men to do the women. Have you noticed that? They don't want a woman to interview a woman. There could be implications. <laughs> they're afraid there might be a, a, a bizarre energy that gets struck up between the two of them. It can turn into an on-camera tension. Because he told me his first interview was with Carly Simon. She started off a little bitchy, but then got very nice. Stone, I hope I'm not getting away any secrets. He's probably going to run out of here and sue me. <laughs> and I get a call from Carly, who's very competitive with women, by the way. Miss Carly Simon. Miss Carly, I can't give a minute to you, Simon. <laughs> now, you know what's brilliant about Carly? She goes around to all the boutiques in New York and passes out her tapes. <laughs> it's like, I saw down Columbus Avenue. What the, is Car what the hell is Carly Simon doing? <laughs> and she was carrying a basket of sandwiches with her as a sandwich. I was like, going in and out of like beauty salons and stuff, you know? So, <laughs> you know how in Beverly Hills at all the beauty salons they sell those sandwiches and fruit baskets and stuff? And you say, oh, this is going to be delicious. And you open it up, it's all kind of like things have soaked into it. <laughs> the sandwiches are kind of like sponges. And they taste kind of like strawberries and papayas. And a nice ham on rye. Mmm. <laughs> now, are you really from my kibbutz that I was on? Yeah. You must have been very young when I was there. Uh, about <laughs> I, well, I, you know, like I told her, my Hebrew has gone shot to hell. You're a child. I, I was on a kibbutz in Israel. I told you about it earlier. I mean, can you believe somebody from the, the kibbutz is here? I'm going to cry. <laughs> Avinu Shalom. Does your mother know you're over here, rabble-rousing with, with some tough-looking chicks? <laughs> you just got off the back of a motorcycle with these bras. A nice Jewish girl from a kibbutz picking Ashkoli out. Next thing I know, she's in Santa Monica with a motorcycle gang. I mean, you know, you explain. <laughs> wow. Well, I have to cool out for a minute. So we're going to break for a commercial. We're going to come back with Bobcat Goldthwaite and Mark Roberts. And we'll see you in a minute. and gentlemen, wearing a kooky hat. Of course, she, she's put on a little bit of weight, but she's not modeling that much anymore. So, hi, Lauren. Kooky, gap tooth, Lauren Hutton. I love a good gap tooth. Well, we're, we're going to bring out the first performer this evening. He's very, very energetic and wacky and a lot of fun. Bob Goldthwaite. So make him feel welcome. And I'm going to be back in a minute. And when I pull my dress up, so I'm going to run off stage. Yeah. 